Hello, and welcome to today's lecture on, Maic Roadmaps. A sub-module of the defined phase. Created by Lean Six Sigma Prowess. A company dedicated to offering high-quality free online Lean Six Sigma training modules. Learning Objectives. Know the five phases of the Maic process. Identify which tools to use during which phase of the Maic process. Learn the tool implementation sequence for each phase. Maic is a five-step, also known as phases, process used in Lean Six Sigma to manage the project. Maic stands for Define, Measure, Analyze, Improve, and Control. Define is the first step of the Maic process. In this phase, we define the problem and implement the project. Measure is the second step of the make process. In this phase, we measure the process capability and process defects at the GAMBA. Analyze is the third step of the make process. In this phase, we analyze the process data in order to identify the root causes, also called DEXs, and their impact on the output, Y. Improve is the fourth step of the make process. In this phase, we improve the process by identifying and implementing the solutions to the root causes at the GAMBA. Control is the fifth and last step of the MAIC process. In this phase, we control and standardize the improvements to the root causes. The DEFINE roadmap is a summary of all of the steps required to complete the DEFINE phase. These steps are 1. Project pre-launch, project leader prepares for the project. 2. Historical data evaluation, understand the impact of the problem on the company. A time series plot is used to understand the trends of the data. 3. Establish team, identify team players, establish team roles and responsibilities. 4. Define the project. The team will begin to create the first four elements of the project charter. Problem statement, created using the 5W1H tool, business case, primary metrics, and scope, created using the SIPOC tool. 5. Understand the customer's expectations through a series of interviews. This is called the voice of the customer or VOC. From the voice of the customer, the team will create the critical to quality tree and voice of the customer analysis. The voice of the customer analysis is a key output of this phase and will be used in the measure phase to create the data collection plan. 6. Calculate financial impact based on the goals set by the team identified using the historical data. 7. Complete the project charter and the define phase presentation. 8. Define toll gate. Gain management's approval and move to measure phase. The key outputs of the define phase are 1. Project Charter 2. Voice of the Customer Analysis The Measure Roadmap is a summary of all of the steps required to complete the measure phase. These steps are 1. Create data collection plan and forms, map the process, identify all of the waste points on the process map. 2. Perform measurement systems analysis. Any gauge that will be used to measure data during the measure phase must be reliable and accurate. If it is not it must be calibrated. If the gauge cannot be calibrated it must be replaced with a reliable and accurate gauge. 3. Prepare team and support staff for data collection. Support staff are those people who are not a part of the project team but who will play a vital role during the data collection process of the measure phase. 4. Perform data capability studies and data collection on waste points at the GAMBA. Data collection typically lasts two to four weeks in total duration. 5. Sanitize the data. Ensure that the data collected is good data. Remove obvious measurement errors, data not filled out properly, incomplete data, etc. If, as sometimes is the case, the data collected is full of data collection errors, we call this type of data GIGO which stands for garbage and garbage out. This type of data should be thrown out. In this case, the team may need to collect more data. 
This can be avoided by actively checking on the data being collected on a daily basis. 6. Perform data stratification. Use Pato charts for attribute data, process capability analysis, box plots, histograms, etc. After completing the data stratification, establish six sigma metrics, DPMO, DPO, sigma level, and short-term and long-term process capability. 7. Complete the measure phase presentation. 8. Measure toll gate. Gain management's approval and move to analyze phase. The key outputs of the measure phase are 1. Focused problem statements 2. Current process defect level The Analyze Roadmap is a summary of all of the steps required to complete the Analyze phase. These steps are 1. Identify a list of all possible route causes. Use the brainstorming exercise to identify all possible route causes, group all possible route causes on the fishbone, and use the 5 white tool to drive to final route cause. Visit the GEMBAR, and verify root causes. Those factors not found to be present at the GEMBAR should be eliminated. The brainstorming, fishbone, and 5 white tools are all basic ways to identify possible root causes. 2. Prioritize potential causes. If there are a lot of possible root causes and you are uncertain about the impact they may have on the process output, why, use process failure mode effect analysis, PFMEA, or failure mode effect analysis, FMEA, for those that are equipment related to prioritize the list of possible root causes. 3. Filter out important X's, inputs, that have a direct and significant impact on the output, why. Use hypothesis testing to isolate important factors. 4. Identify relationships between inputs and outputs. Use regression analysis to look for relationships between the inputs, X's, and the output, Y. 5. Quantify statistical significance of important X's. Identify the synergy of important inputs, X's, on the output, Y, by implementing design of experiments, DOE. 6. Verify important X's at the GAMBA. Implement changes based on the output of the design of experiments. For important main effects implement changes in the process. Perform trail runs to verify changes are effective and do not have an adverse impact on the process. 7. Complete the Analyze Phase Presentation. 8. Analyze Tollgate. Gain management's approval and move to improve phase. Note. The analyze phase tends to be the most difficult for students with little to no knowledge of statistics. We will spend a considerable amount of time during the analyze phase modules and sub-modules learning these important tools. The key outputs of the analyze phase are 1. Identification of important root causes The improve roadmap is a summary of all of the steps required to complete the improve phase. These steps are 1. Identify solutions to important root causes. 2. Prioritize solutions for implementation, impact versus effort matrix. 3. Create action plan, 5W2H, for improve implementation. 4. Perform measurement systems analysis. Any gauge that will be used to measure data during the measure phase must be reliable and accurate. If it is not it must be calibrated. If the gauge cannot be calibrated it must be replaced with a reliable and accurate gauge. 5. Implement solutions and collect data. 6. Quantify effectiveness of solutions, for before versus after improvement comparison, use time series charts, hypothesis testing, are there. 7. Complete the improve phase presentation. 8. Improve toll gate. Gain management's approval and move to control phase. The key outputs of the improve phase are 1. Identification and implementation of solutions that eradicate root causes. The control roadmap is a summary of all of the steps required to complete the control phase. These steps are 1. Standardize changes. Team will create one-point lessons, OPLs, and update or create standard operating procedures. SOPs. 2. Implement controls. 
create visual controls, visual standards, and poker yokes. 3. Establish training plans, train operators on new procedures. In the training plan, include how future employees will be trained, and frequency of repeat training. 4. Implement stability charts, statistical process control, control charts, key process indicators, and out of control action plans, OCARPs. These methods will be new to the people on the floor. As such, the team will need to train them in these new methods and ensure the people understand and implement these new procedures as a part of their daily work. 5. Calculate the financial savings for the project. Verify whether the team has satisfied the customer's expectations. 6. Transfer project to process owner. 7. Complete the control phase presentation. 8. Control toll gate. Gain management's approval to complete the project. The project leader along with the process owner are responsible for tracking the financials from this project for the next 12 months. The key outputs of the control phase are 1. Standardization of solutions to root causes. 2. Implementation of control charts, SPC, and OCARPs. 3. Financial savings and project deliverables. The DMAIC five-step process can be broken down into a simple statement. These are, define understand the customer's expectations, the voice of the customer, VOC, measure the voice of the process, VOP, analyze, filter out and identify the important X's, inputs, improve, identify and implement solutions at the GAMBA, control, standardize and replicate the improvements on another line or lines, if possible. This concludes our training video on DMAIC roadmaps. In this video, we review the different phases of the DMAIC process and the tools used during each phase. We hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you did please like our video and please join us on our YouTube channel at Lean Six Sigma Prowess, our Facebook page, Lean Six Sigma Prowess, or our website which will go live, January 1st, 2016.